I want to put some wings on this camper. It's not a Shasta. We're not pretending it's a Shasta. It just has that overall compact look. But I'm not going to put Shasta wings on it because if I was going to put Shasta wings on it, I would have to buy those commercially. Uh, you saw those ones that we put on the uh, 1960 Shasta for uh, Rod and Sharon. Those were beautiful. Beautifully expensive, but they're beautiful. I'm just going to make a little something to put on there, similar to what Scotty did. You know, they took the cutouts of their uh, wheel wells. So I kind of use that as my inspiration. I took a, a plate, a weight plate, and uh, it is eight inches tall. And I thought that would be good for this small camper. And so I put it, this is the wood that came out where the door was. So we're going to recycle, upcycle. So I started there, I traced around it, then I found kind of a uh, pattern that I like, and this is what I came up with. Scotty-esque, but not really, because theirs are way more dramatic in the curvature. So I did something like this. So we got a couple of steps to make these. So I'm gonna cut this other one out. I've already traced this one. So I'm gonna cut that one out. And when I get done cutting that one out, I'll show you my next step. We're gonna cover these with metal, obviously, and you'll see that in the next step here shortly, but um, it's plywood. I feel like I need to seal it. So I'm just really gonna take some uh, undercoating, spray it, and then cover it. So I just wanna make sure, especially on top, because that's gonna be the top. I think that's where the rain's gonna hit it if it hits it, when it hits it. So I wanna make sure I get my edges real good. It's never too bad or too too much to put too much on too much protection and that's what we're here for we don't want the uh wood rotting on our wings when the rest of the camper still looks magnificent so i'm going to do these real quick let them dry out here in the sun beautiful day finally and then i'll show you my next step undercoating's almost dry what i wanted you to see mainly was when you remember when we cut the top secret door for the top secret Jalossi windows in the classified camper, I saved the metal where the window would have been. So I'm going to try to get two because you need a piece on each side out of each one of these. Uh, this is just a blue coating on it, easier to draw on. So I think if I try to get right in here kind of tight we can always make adjustments and uh, I'm gonna I know what you're thinking it's great Rob how many times you've done this zero so if you don't see this video it didn't work but I thought it out so I can get one right there and I think we can do another one like that. So that's not bad. I'll go ahead and go ahead and trace that one out too. And that way I'll have both sides covered. And that should be pretty well exact. So I get my tin snips out here. Good pair of tin snips, worth its weight. Worth its weight. I'm going to try to stay real close to the edge on this marker right here. They really do work not too bad. It's just, if you're going to do a whole lot like a roof, when I do the roof or I do the skins, kind of get your hands a little tired by the time you're done maybe even a blister on your finger. Just a little bit more. Kind of missing my line a bit, but I can clean that up. There we go. 
So, let's see here what we got. That's real close. I've got a little extra, which I would rather have extra than, than not enough. So I get that other one cut out and uh, trim this one up. Then I'll do the other side. And uh, one more step or two after that. And uh, we should have wings. Got to cut out. I think I'm gonna put the blue side up to protect it just a little bit longer. That may not be possible. Hmm. Yeah, nope, nope. So I wanna be like that. There we go. Genius level right there. I'm just gonna put a little, one or two little staples in this just to kind of tack it in here. Try to get all the way to the edge. They're not gonna have a whole lot of edge edging on it. That one didn't catch. There we go. One more side over here. That didn't work. So I got one that I'm gonna have to really scrub up. Alright. Alright, so if we go to try to take this blue off, you see it's going to be, oh, you can't see anything. It's going to be pretty pristine. I pulled the blue, pulled the blue off of this side. This is gonna be the side that goes against the trailer. I left this on and put out so that I know which way to put the trim. Sometimes it gets confusing. So sometimes it, it looks like it just did this one thing the whole time. But in between these, while things are drying or setting up, I'm going to do something else and coming back to this. And so I may not remember. But anyway, so I know this side isn't going out. So I know that I can put some staples in here, just like you really would on your, on your skin before you put the J-rail on. So I'm just gonna hit this a few times. I think I could speed this up a little bit. So you don't have to just sit there watching me make staples. There, now that one is, that's on there stout. So on this side, I got a little that's kind of sticking up a little bit there. So I think I wanna maybe just trim that out because the trim is only, it might just be an eighth that it overlaps. It's that, uh, well, it's this. You know, I told you this is so hard to find. This half inch that are in all the Scotties. When we tore down that 76, red, white, and blue, I got a couple of really long pieces off of the bunks. I don't put bunks back in. So we can use that to trim this. So everything other than the screws, I think, are, are reused, upcycled, if you will. So I think we're, let me just get a little more off of there. There we go. You don't want too much. Ow, that's why. Good job, genius. All right. So, next step. We gotta take, I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna take this. Oh, good, I better check. You can see what I'm doing. You know, on a how-to video, that's kind of important. Some people here at Dumas Industries might do that. But here at World Headquarters, damn the torpedoes. We just go. So I know I'm working only on the outside, and I'm going to take, I'm done with that, I think. So I want this lip right here to be out. And so we know this is out. And I'm gonna start at the top. Gonna, gonna, gonna start at the top. Let it hang over just a touch and uh, I think I'm gonna there's a screw hole right at the end but it's so thin I really wouldn't be able to use a, a screw on it 
So I'm gonna cut that one out and then I'll just make another hole just like that. Cause I, I could take and put this drill bit in there and I'll drill where it's a little bit more where it's gonna get a bite. Cause I'm using towards the end, like right there, I might use a, a number six by three quarters or by half inch, but normally I'm gonna use a number six by three quarter pan head screw just so that it goes in there and, and gets a good bite on it. All right, let's get back to business here. Just gonna make sure that we are on here good and tight. Make sure it hangs over a little bit. We want the water to drain off. There we go. It's that first one or two are really kind of the most difficult to get on there. But after that, we get moving pretty quick. I think, uh, I think it's about time for a double time on this deal. slow down right there because I want to show you what I'm going to do on this curve. This is just, this aluminum is just perfect to make these bends like this. I just slowly go from one slowly up to wherever the next hole is, which is right there. And then I'll just let this other piece stick out there like that. So I don't do too much all at once. And I'll put this in here just to, as a guide. And then as I move around, I just make sure that I'm hitting right here and then I get to my next one and I hit that one so now I'm going to take this and just make my way to the end on a double time here at the end and now I've got to clip this. I did a little overhang on this top one because I don't need water hitting here and going in. So it's gonna be a little shorter on this bottom piece. So I'm gonna hit that real quick. So I say. Then kind of trim back this piece up here, just the lip, trim it back a little bit. that just make it uh, kind of sit in there real nice so I hit my last screw right here and then I'll take a oh guess I'm bleeding on these that's pretty nice anyway I'll snip I'll take it push those together a little bit and this one we got I think they look real nice. I considered putting the seam in there. I, I don't know. I kind of like it like this. It'll provide a little contrast. So we've got to get them installed. The thing that surprised me was that the um, Shasta, they just went through the whole thing, right into the wall, through the wall. I know they didn't go through the wall. They went right through the outside of this into the wall. So we'll probably have to do something like that because we don't have any fancy hardware or anything. Linus, it's okay, buddy. Shop inspectors are on double time today. So uh, when I go to install these, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I did. To get prepped for this, this is really about my last step before we reveal this camper. But anyway, I took my level and I leveled the trailer. It is bubble on front to back and that's what we're needing right now and i did the same thing with the skin when i put the skin on because i wanted all of our seams to 
could be horizontal, perpendicular with the ground. Mathy. So what I did was after I got it bubble on, I went and I thought, well, it'd look good starting right here. And there's a crease right there. So I put it on that just right there. And it's bubble on right there. So now I just have to figure out how far back I want them. What I did was through the front, I drilled some holes, got some nice screws, and and I put my butyl tape on the back. Butyl tape. So I just gotta think, where do I want this? How much thin do I want sticking out? Because it's gonna be right here on this, right here on this crease. That's not enough. I think that's too much. I think maybe right about somewhere around in here, I think looks pretty good. Let me look on there. Can't really see the whole thing, can you? Let me uh, make an adjustment here. There we go, let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna put right about Maybe a little further, I think. Maybe a touch more. I don't know, is that too much? I kind of like it. Well, let's put one in here. See what we end up with. Whoa. All right, so let's just make sure my crease is right there and it is. I'm not staring at you. I'm looking up there just to see what it looks like. And I think I like that. I think that's a good balance. So I'm just gonna put these in, make sure I'm down to my crease right there. Now, if I added the half inches and eighth inches up, these screws should go right to the very end of the wall on the inside. So you shouldn't see them is my hope. So I think I get back here. I like it. I like it. It kind of blends in pretty heavy though. I don't know. Maybe a stripe up there or something. I'll think on that. That wouldn't be too hard to put a stripe down the center or something, something. I don't know. I don't like to do the whole thing a different color unless it was just aluminum metal. That's where we're at for now. I'll chew on it. Let's see what happens.